Hello everyone. I am Sonali Kanavre, Assistant Professor of Computer Engineering Department of All India, Sri Shivaji Memorial Society, Institute of Information Technology, Pune. Today our topic is layers of blockchain. Uh, blockchain, uh, and in this topic we are discuss about the different layers. First one is the application layer. Second is the execution layer. Then semantic layer, propagation layer, and concept layer. First one is the application layer. Application layer uh, are developed due to the characteristics of the uh, blockchain as a uh, immutability of the data, the transparency between the participant, the resistance against uh, enemy attacks, etc. The applications are only incorporated into the application layer, assuming any available flavor of uh, flavors of blockchain. While some applications are integrated into the application layer and uh, intervented uh, with the blockchain layers. That's why the application layer, uh, uh, layer should be considered as a blockchain part. Uh, these uh, are the, uh, uh, after uh, it makes up the uh, smart contracts and uh, data, uh, decentralized application. And this layer act as the front end of the blockchain and essentially what a user uh, would typically encounter when operating within a blockchain network. Then second is the execution. Uh, second second is the execution layer. Uh, in that uh, in this layer, where the execution of the instruction mandated by the application layer uh, occurs at the node in blockchain network, the instruction can be simple instruction or set of multiple instruction in the form of uh, intelligent uh, contract. And uh, in the same case, the program or script must be executed. To ensure the uh, proper execution of the transaction, all nodes in a blockchain uh, network must uh, run script or program independently. Deterministic execution of script or program on the same set of input and condition always process the uh, same output across all nodes, which helps to avoid interferences. In this, uh, in the uh, situation of bitcoins. Uh, these uh, these are simple scripts that are not complete by turning and only allow a few instruction on the other hand uh, ethereum and uh, hyperledger allow for uh, complex execution uh, uh, ethereum code or written smart contract are compiled into uh, byte code or machine code so uh, which is executed on its uh, ethereum virtual machine then next is the uh, semantic layer. Semantic layer is a logical layer because uh, there is uh, order in transaction uh, of and blocks, uh, whether valid or invalid. The transaction has a series of instructions that are passed through the execution layer, but are checked in semantic layer. In the case of uh, Bitcoin, in this layer, uh, it is checked whether it is uh, carrying out a legal transaction or a double spending attack, uh, or the execution of this transaction is authorized. Uh, Bitcoin is presented as a transaction that represents the state of the system. Uh, then uh, it is uh, to be able to spend Bitcoin, you must spend one to one previous transaction, and there is no concept of an account. It means that when uh, someone execute a transaction, uh, they uh, use one of the previous transaction in which the receive at least uh, the amount they are now uh, they are now spending. So uh, this is the semantic layer. Then next is the propagation layer. Uh, propagation layer, uh, the back layer is more of unique phenomena having more interaction with other nodes in the system. The propagation layer is a layer of peer-to-peer -peer communication that allow nodes to find each other and communicate and synchronize with each other in relation to current network conditions. When a transaction occurs, we know that it is transmitted over the entire network. So uh, if a node wants to propose an uh, authentic block, it is immediately uh, divided into network so, uh, so that the nodes can create it, assuming it, uh, it is the latest block. Therefore, the spread of transaction or block in the network is determined in this uh, layer, which ensures the entire network stability. 
most blockchains are designed uh, in such a way that they are forward a transaction or block immediately to allow nodes they are directly connected to when they learn about a new transaction or blocks then next is the uh, concierge layer the uh, concierge layer is often the base layer of blockchain uh, there can be various way to get uh, community consent consent depending on the application of the uh, case blockchain security and safety in this area so bitcoin uh, or ethereum uh, consent is uh, obtained through uh, appropriate means to encourage the use of mining uh, for uh, a complete blockchain to last there must be an uh, incentive that not only help keep the website alive uh, but uh, alive but uh, also uh, strengthens the uh, agreement bitcoin and ethereum use the proof of work method uh, to select a mechanism that can create a block then once the block is uh, proposed and uh, grown by all nodes it will be checked whether the block is a uh, valid block uh, with all legal transaction and the uh, and and the uh, proof of work method uh problem uh, has been solved currently then next thank you